welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm bringing you this review today for pinkypromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you will get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at pinkypromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today we're gonna to take a look at this new style by John Renault. This is the Carrie Light Petite Wig, which is human hair. And the color on this one is 12 FS8 Shaded Praline. I'm gonna show you this fully hand tied Remy Human Hair Carry compared to the regular Carrie. So more on her in just a minute. let's jump in and we will start talking about this Carrie Light Petite. So I've always wanted to try one of the light wigs. I haven't tried any of the light synthetics or light human hair versions of their wigs. Uh, and when this Carrie came out in the Petite, I was really, really excited because the John Renault Petite caps really fit my head nicely. So as I said in the beginning, I am a fan of the regular Carrie. The differences between these two are that this particular Carrie Light has the Remy human hair, which has to do with the way the hair is harvested and applied to the cap and everything. Not so much the application, but it's really just that they keep the hair bundles, they keep the cuticle intact. So all the cuticles are running the same way. So I'm just gonna, gonna let you go to YouTube and you review and look up what Remy human hair versus non-Remy is because I just don't have time in this video to get into all of the nuances of that. But that is the basic gist of Remy versus non-Remy. So the regular carry is non-Remy human hair. Both of these are the same types of hair, 50% Indian hair, 50% Chinese hair. So the difference is the fact that the cuticles all are going the same direction on this. So when you have cuticles that aren't going the same direction, you tend to get friction between those hair, those hair fibers. So one thing that you see with the regular carry is you'll see more frizz. Uh, she tends to have a frizzier appearance to the hair and you'll see more, um, I get a lot of tangling with this one at the nape. So every day after I have worn it, I have to comb out the nape. That's the underside nape that's close to my skin. Nobody sees that. On the outside, it just remains the same. However, I have styled it and curled it. So this one dries very wavy. So I tend to just um, kind of smooth those curls out a little bit and just go with a curly look on this one. And I'm anxious to see, I have not washed this one yet because I love that it's like perfectly flat ironed right out of the box and I'm gonna hold this style as long as I can, you know, before I mess it up. So, so the other differences are the cap construction. This carry is an open wefted cap, full mono top, smart lace front, and this carry has the light cap. So I will show you the features of this cap and then I'll show you the interior caps when I pull this one off. So, so this is the light cap. So with the light cap, you have your smart lace goes all the way from one ear all the way to the other. So you can see when I lift it up, you see that lace. Those ear tabs are lace and they have a silicone tab on the inside too that helps them, uh, you know, kind of stick to your head. So, uh, and then you have that lace front goes all the way across the front. So I'll show you the lace. Looks really, really good. Now, they do leave a you know a little section of lace there you can leave that on there it is invisible it's you know pretty much disappearing into my skin but i do think i'll probably end up cutting that i just i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna wear it without cutting it and see what i think but i can definitely see it in the mirror up here at the lace you know and i just pop it on and look in the mirror and so i think that's gonna probably bother me a little bit so i think i'm going to probably at least trim the lace up here and then see how I feel about trimming it on the ear tabs too. But um, it's a little bit, it, it depends on what your definition of texture is. I'm finding it to be pretty smooth, but some of you might think it's a little bit, you know, there, you can definitely feel a lace edge right there. So, you know, I don't know. I'm just kind of letting you know. If, like I said, it feels pretty smooth to me, but this is brand new. Over time, I don't know if that'll fray and get a little rough, you know right there. So, okay, so it has a full mono top. So there's your part. And like I said, I have great coverage with these ear tabs too. As you can see, it looks very, very natural, just like it's growing right out of my head. And this is a full mono top. So I parted mine on the right just for fun because wigs are never parted on the right. Uh, but you can part it in the middle. You can part it on the left. You can part it wherever you want to with that full mono top. That's something you can also do with the full mono top on this carry. So on the regular carry. So price point wise, 
um, you're looking at an addition of about fourteen dollars to $1,500 for this Remy Human Hair Carry Light wig versus the original carry. So that might be another determining factor for you. You know, if you wanna try human hair, you might try a regular carry first. And just remember what I'm telling you about the texture, that there's more texture to this non-Remy human hair, more frizz to this hair. And I have heard people that don't like this frizz at all. And I've heard others that are like, oh, it's no big deal to me, you know. So you just have to decide between the two. Okay, so measurements for carry light petite. Uh, the bang here is a 10 inch bang. She has a 10 inch measurement back here from the crown. She has 10 inch sides and she has a seven inch nape. So that's, this is one thing I absolutely love about Carrie. I love her length. I love her measurements. She is very wearable. And I have found that I wear, this is one of my definite go-tos in my wig collection is I wear this wig a lot. So um, I feel like I'm gonna wear this one a lot, which is why I wanted one in a blonde because I am starting to wear, you know, blondes and brunettes um, on different days. You know, everybody pretty much knows I wear a wig, so I don't really worry about it. But anyway, so um, that's why I got this one in a blonde. So I'm sure that she is going to become a go-to as well. Okay, I will pop this one off and we can look at her interior cap construction. Okay, so interior cap construction for the Carrie Light Petite. So this is that lace that I'm talking about ear to ear and then you can see that silicone piece and then the metal is in that inside that silicone piece there then you have full mono top so hand tied lace front hand tied full mono top that allows you to part it wherever you want to part it no permittees whatsoever of course with all these hand tied features and human hair i don't know if they even do permittees on human hair i've never seen it on a human hair wig so we've got hand tied all throughout the cap. Really, really nice. This cap is very cool. It's very comfortable. It's very light. And it's fitting my petite head perfectly. This also comes in an average. So if you don't have true petite average, uh, two, pet two petite measurements, I think I would probably go up to the average. So she has the Velcro adjusters. She also has a, an extended nape with the silicone at the nape, which helps hold her in place back there as well. So really nice. Okay, so here is the regular carry. She is a full mono top, smart lace front. She's got this, you know, regular felt ear tabs with the metal in there, open wefted cap. So again, keeping the price point lower, open wefted cap, Velcro adjusters, extended nape. This one was um, colored by a hairstylist, so you're gonna see a little bit of, you know, color change there in the cap. That's just because it was colored. So it started off as a 627, I think, so. So you can see the lightness and the wispiness of this hair. Very, very pretty. This is so natural looking. It's just kind of blowing my mind. <laughs> really really nice okay so let's take a look at this color this is 12 fs8 the shaded praline of course in the remy human hair so the description for this color is a lightest golden brown with medium golden blonde and warm pale blonde highlights with medium brown roots so i chose this color so that i would have that brown rooting because just to make it work with my eyebrows and all that kind of stuff you know so the rooting is gonna show, you know, when you separate the hair. And this is what that hand tied cap looks like, by the way, when you separate the hair. So when you style it, put it up or whatever, you know, you still have that scalp appearance, so. Okay, here's the color with the bright lights off and just the overhead ring light. You can see those blondes, particularly that pale blonde, I feel like is really showing. And of course that rooting you're gonna see around the face as well.
okay, we can look at glasses and styling and all that. So she's super ear tuckable. She's definitely easier to tuck behind the ears than the regular carry is, but I can still tuck the regular carry. You know, I've worn the regular carry up. I've done all, you know, done all kinds of, all these things that I can do with this one, I've done with that one, but just remember that one has more hair. Just consider this one light density, that one medium density. That's probably the best way, you know, to think about it. So everything with a medium density, more hair, a little more frizz, you know, change in the texture of the hair, things are just gonna be a little bit different compared to this really fine, low density Remy human hair wig. So, okay, so glasses. Glasses are super easy, no problem. Glasses work fine with my regular carry as well. But I just noticed with this one in particular, I mean, there's just no, these ear tabs are so thin. This, this, I'm just going to be honest, this hair, <clears throat> I feel like I don't even have a wig on. This hair is so light. The cap is so comfortable. It's like it just disappears on my head. And it's, it, that really is an ideal situation for us with wigs. As long as you like low density, if you like more texture and more density, then the regular carry might be better for you. But I am just amazed. This just melts into my head. I forget it's a wig. So, you know, I can tuck it behind my ears. I can do whatever with it, you know. So, okay, back to glasses. So glasses are super easy. They'll go up on your head very easily. Whoops, your readers, your um, sunglasses, whatever, you know. So that's going to be no problem. Of course, you can also just stick it in the wig too, you know. But um, you do have it. It's very easy to tuck it, you know, behind the ears like that. So, so as you can see, I'm just free and easy tucking behind the ears here. Okay, so she looks really cute with a headband. And with a headband, you could hold that 10-inch that bang layer back, or you could bring it out if you want to. So she's also really easy to do a half up, half down with. I do think that the bang layer is going to come down on that. So just let it fall. You could even, you know, cut some little baby hairs around these ear tabs if you wanted to make them look a little more natural. Uh, go on YouTube, look up how to do that. If you're not comfortable, have your stylist do it. But, and you can cut a bang too, you know. So you can use all your heat tools on this, of course, because this is human hair. So, you know, you can cut and shape bangs into her if that's what you want to do. So, okay, so she does have the length also for a little ponytail. I have worn my regular carry in a ponytail with a baseball hat before. So, you know, she's medium density. It's a, I have to get the hat kind of around all that hair, but then once I do that, it's no problem. So the tag is sticking out here, there we go. Okay, so ponytail, very natural looking little pony. You could twist her. And like I said, you could also, you know, curl this wig, add waves to it, all that kind of stuff, you know. And um, just remember that this is not synthetic. This is all human hair. So when you tend, when you do curl these, the over time the curl does tend to relax. So like on this regular uh, carry, you know, those waves have just kind of relaxed. And but like I said, I, I really just wanted to clean the curl up on this one because this one drives dries wavy. I don't know how this one dries yet. I'll have to update you guys on that in the future because I love the way she came out of the box. She's like perfectly flat ironed and I wasn't going to like get her wet and mess with her. So after I've worn her a while, I'll come back and update you all on that. So, okay. So other styling, of course, you can wear her off the face. You know, you can clip her back. And this is where I think I would feel more comfortable with the lace cut. You know, I just don't want to have that lace sitting there. I feel like if you're up really close, somebody might see it and I don't know. It's probably not that big of a deal with me because everybody knows I wear a wig, but still, you know, I just think I'd like it cut back a little bit there. So, but anyway, you know, you have all those options. This hair is so easy, so fine, so, you know, easy to work with. You could braid it. You could do all kinds of stuff with it. So really, really fun and versatile to style. And I love her length. It's just a very, very wearable length. So, so thank you to Pinky Promise for sending this link to review for you all today. There will be purchase information down below the video. I thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye. <music>